Good morning, viewers. Welcome to our Claudic Globe TV. Yes, breaking news. Yes, the country is at a turning point. If Modi wins the third term, he will match Nehru's record of electoral victories amid a Congress fate. Indian citizens will have their 18th trist with electing national political representatives in 2024. Each general election. has of course thrown up a new legislature and through there a new political executive but each election has also been a way for an extraordinarily diverse indian society to talk to each other organize itself into factions compete with each other answer fundamental questions about priorities anxieties fears and hopes and then give direction to the indian state both in terms of the agenda and the actors will have to take the agenda forward 2024 will be no different as the largest democratic exercise in the world each indian election surpasses the preceding one in having the most voters in the world determines what citizens want for their future the political battle the political contours of the battle are clear Prime Minister Narendra Modi starts out as the favorite for a third term. The BJP, on its own, is seeking an absolute majority in the Lok Sabha, a feat that will lead to Modi matching Jawaharlal Nehru's record of three successive electoral wins. To do this, however, the BJP needs to enhance its victory tally in UP to offset any losses elsewhere, sustain or increase its tally in Bihar with only a smattering of smaller parties as allies sweep the western indian border states central indian states and northern hill states again minimize its losses in maharashtra where newer premutations have emerged amid splits and fresh alliances and do the same in karnataka where the congress just own state wall maintain its domains over the northeast and continue to expand on the eastern coast from bengal through odisha down to telangana and andhra pradesh as ambitious as each of these targets sounds the bjp has shown an ability to strike such targets on the nose as it rides on modi as the unifying figure across states classes and castes and on an organization that can get voters to the booths The opposition is experimenting with a broader alliance and newer demands that seek to break the BJP's wider coalition in terms of caste, class, and regional fault lines. But the Congress remains the weakest link in the chain, particularly in states where it is in direct competition with the BJP. Glance at a map, and it's clear that unless the Congress can erode the BJP tally in Himachal Pradesh, Haryana, Rajasthan, Gujarat, Maharashtra, Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, Assam, Jharkhand, Uttarakhand, and Karnataka, the Modi judge, the Modi jugaran will roll on. The absence of clear leadership that has the appeal to counter Modi and the lack of a compelling alternative story continues to haunt the Congress. Four months before voter hit to the booth, the best case scenario for the BJP is an increase in vote share and a repeat of 300 plus seats in the Lok Sabha. The best case scenario for the Congress is getting to 100 seats and a consolidation of the anti-BJP vote in key states with the aim of keeping the BJP down to 30 to 250 seats. How the two sides crap their messaging? Find you. their organization deploy their financial resources plan and execute their campaigns pick their candidates and ensure visibility in the public imagination will determine whether they strike an emotional chord with a plurality of voters and therefore whether they can achieve their best cause outlooks the social Conversions beyond the outcome itself, 2024 will offer a glimpse into how society itself is thinking of the following questions. First, Indian democracy. There is a vital debate under way between regime supporters and critics, the government, and the opposition. 
and various segments within the international community on the integrity, quality and future of India's democracy. A smooth election and an outcome accepted by all sides will strengthen India's claims of being a robust electoral democracy based on the very exercise of that franchise. But the outcome will also reveal what voters think. Do they believe that the opposition critique of the trifecta of a personality cult, compromise institutions and regime encouraged social divisiveness is serious enough to warrant a change? Or do they believe that the Indian democracy is just fine? Or that the delivery record of the Indian states make up for its differences? Do they, in other words, see another term for Modi as an opportunity for more than a threat? Glory Globe TV, Delhi, Bharat.